Welcome to the user buying guide that will forever change your life. You and I both know that honest kiteserve reviews are harder to find than empty kiteserve spots. And that is why you need my help, my friend. The forest of kiteserve brands is deep and wide, and I will help you pick the best hardwood in town. I will help you choose the kite you're looking for. I'll be going over for amazing brands and there must be something that will suit your needs. Now there is nothing I love more than making charts that almost nobody will ever see. So without holding you up any further, let's look at the chart I made for you. Beginning with the big brands. The F1 Bandit is probably one of the best selling kites and for good reason. Owning the F1 Bandit for a while, I can say it's fast and has amazing drift. I tested the Duotone SLS for two hours at the Telstar Surf Center in the Netherlands. And I can say this kite is really easy to use and extremely predictable. Testing and now shortly owning the Reedin Supermodel version 2, I can say looping this kite is definitely the easiest out of the four. I tested the Harlem Go on harsh windy conditions on the beach. Also I think this is probably the best all-round kite I tested. Yes, you heard me correctly, it's probably the best all-round kite I tested. It has a ton of lift and is very predictable even in strong winds. Hello, we all know that owning a better kite makes you a better kite surfer and therefore you need a brand new kite. Now in order to pick the best kite for you, I've scored all these kites on four categories. I hear you thinking, isn't this all very subjective? No my friend, that's where you're wrong. This is actually what they call a peer reviewed double blind test. The Bandit handles amazingly, but in my opinion, doesn't have a lot of lift. The Evo SLS is a really good all-rounder. You can just park it in the air and ride away. Also jumping is very nice. The thing I didn't like however was the Duotone click bar. I felt the center line was a little bit stiff right out of the package. Maybe that changes in the future, but the first time testing it, it felt like the Duotone click bar wasn't really my cup of tea. Then we have the reading. The reading is made for looping and jumps really high. It was pretty scary using the reading because I never knew how high I was going. Therefore, it was scary, but fun. And then last but not least, we have the Harlem Co. I told you before that I think this is the best all-rounder. It really looks like the Evo SLS when it comes to performance. And what I liked especially was jumping with this guide. It just felt amazing and super easy. The thing I did not like, however, was the bar, which was a bit too big for my tiny Trump hands. This concludes my review. I hope you like it, and if not, too bad for you. If I feel like it, I might also put down a written review in the description. Thanks for watching and bye bye.